Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I wanted to show you a little bit of a video response to a question that one of you guys have asked. Now, the problem that this guy's been having is his base keeps getting raided when he's off the server, when he's away from keyboard. He might be at work or doing something else, and people keep purposefully targeting his base because he's not there to actually man the defences and take control of it. And that is a big problem. The turrets can only do so much for your base, and after that, if they're disabled, taken out, and you're not there to repair or build more or even halt that attack, you have a big problem. So this guy wanted me to build a little bit of a trap for these guys, something of a bit of a revenge. Now, I went one step further with this, I contacted a server admin I know, and he allowed me to install this on his roleplay server. Now don't worry, we're not going to be permanently destroying people's creations, he said that he would um, recuperate or refund everyone's sort of vehicles with a blueprint form by the end of the day. So let's actually have a look at the trap itself before we spring it on some unsuspecting people. Now below here, we have got ourselves some drills, and below that, we have ourselves some grinders. So the idea is this will break through the th surface, hopefully the vehicle will be parked on top, and then if that is true, the grinders will then grind away the drills, dropping it down into the pit, and it should be absolutely amazing. Now, players have started to join the server. Two or three are here at the moment, but we don't believe they're the ones responsible for destroying the bases when they're away from keyboard. I mean, it's an honest and interesting tactic, but still, I think we do need a little bit of a revenge in this case. So you can see the structure is setting up. No one's really spotted it, and I'm going to turn on the antenna shortly. I've got a nice little distress message, oxygen storage here. So hopefully that'll attract a little bit of attention. When I was doing some previous tests with this and just leaving beacons around the map, it didn't take too long before someone was attracted to one of these beacons. So fingers crossed it'll draw in a nice juicy victim. Hopefully the victim that's been causing problems as well. So it's a matter of waiting now, waiting for our prey to walk straight into our trap. Hopefully our bait is good enough. So while we're waiting for our victims of our prank to actually show up or move to this location, something to think about when you're building your own trap is the trap is as only as good as the bait that you set. Now as you can see, we've got a small few car containers and this rather interesting looking device here. And on top of that, we have an oxygen storage sign. So we're trying to attract as much as we can into the trap. Now the second part is directing them off, funneling them into the track. And you can actually see what we've got here is this little fence around the perimeter so hopefully it'll convince people to drive into this area rather than sit on the perimeter so that should hopefully draw them right into the center of the trap now the ground is a little bit uneven and that's what i'm worried about if someone spots that or they simply don't want to take the car over that little bit of a ridge then that's going to draw them out and away from the trap we'll have to see i'm going to keep waiting so i've been waiting for quite some time now and it doesn't seem like anyone's come about but looking over here it seems like we might have someone approaching so you can see here they're approaching a little grey rover it looks like he's got six wheels some car containers on the back the first victim towards our track well our trap in this case and he's heading straight for it so let's see if he actually goes inside and he's drawn into it yes it looks like it's working well oh he might park outside no he's gone in okay very good his rover seems to have tipped a little bit into the ground though and he's hopped out Right, what's he off to now? Seems to got his grinder out. He's popping down and he's grinding away at the panels. Oh, is, is he grinding away straight away? Yes, perfect. Okay, so we'll, we'll start activating the trap. So we'll activate the drills. Put the pistons on. Okay, ship's going down. Reverse the pistons. And now all we need to do is activate the grinders. And we'll see exactly how nasty this can get. Looks like the ship's actually fallen out the side. <laughs> Beautiful. Looks like we got some just revenge. Oh, he's flying down there. What's he doing? Is he going to try to recover his ship? Right, now we've got the whole place wired with explosives. So I might be wise, and it looks like he just missed or damaged himself on the grinders a little bit. Alright, let's try detonating the explosives. I didn't really want to do this. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, we've not got a detonation. Something's gone definitely wrong here. So we had a little bit of a problem. The warheads didn't go off blowing everything up, so I've just loaded this up in a private world. And I think we'll just have a quick go at it one more time, really fast. So let's actually activate our drills, turn on our pistons, dr 
drill through the floor. Very nicely done indeed. Reverse them pistons, and as we're reversing them, what we actually did before is, I didn't turn the drills off, but you can see the actual grinders grind away them components, then grind away the ship itself. But at the moment, it seems like that craft keeps escaping out to the side, and that's a little bit of a problem because it, is, it means it's recoverable, but at the same time, it is down at the bottom of a large hole, so I do think that's a problem. But now, I've disabled the safety on the warheads, so let's actually watch this place explode. There we go. So I've actually popped out. And there you go. You can see we've got this massive crater that's been formed. And I've tried to dispose of as much of the equipment that we've used as possible. But you can see some parts have actually come out pretty much okay as well. We've got a load of grinders at the bottom that could be salvaged. But the main point of this secondary explosion would to actually destroy any of his friends or anyone else who came to actually try to help him after the primary explosion went off. But still, rather interesting. Hopefully this inspired some of your builds. And I will see you next time.